we are getting people to play games but while they're playing games they're actually getting a lot of cognitive exercise and physical exercise which uh, has been shown to have a very positive impact our basic goal is to develop the next generation of technologies technologies that actually bring humans and machines together The computer interaction is something that we live and breathe every single day. The very n nice thing about Canav's lab and that I like very much is that since the very first week that I got here, it's a constant demo sections where people come and interact and learn what we have to give and give us feedback. It's too deep or if I don't go deep enough, it'll say not. We primarily work in the area of uh, medical education and developing virtual reality gaming uh, solutions to actually uh, enable better quality of medical education. Our tools are actually designed for medical professionals in general. Surgery has been our initial focus, but we work with nurses, we work with uh, family practitioners. Uh, it, it covers a wide gamut. The way these exercises and games are actually helping is it's providing First of all, a way to practice skills outside the OR. It really teaches surgeons the ability to control their hand movements. Secondly, it provides hospitals a way to measure skills. If you don't do recoil, which is you don't come back to the green, it actually gives you that you're not doing recoil. So it's actually a device that gives the physician actual ways to practice CPR skill. These community partnerships, I think, are very much at the center of what we do. We would not, we would just be another engineering lab, another lab that makes tools and technologies if we did not work with the community partners. It is our intimate relation with the community partners. Every student in our lab knows the hospital systems very well. They know, they go there, they do observations, they do shadowing. So it is very embedded in C2 type of technology development. We don't develop a technology and say use it. We actually go to our final customer, work with our community partners to understand where there is a gap that technology can fill and then we develop the technology.